Hi, this is Susan. This is going to be a 25-minute therapeutic class designed for the back. We'll be down on our mat the whole time. Please today don't move in a range of motion that is painful or doesn't feel right for your body. We'll be working on our hamstrings. We'll be bringing some attention to your piriformis as well as doing some gentle twisting to help relieve tension through the spine. The props that you may find helpful today would be a strap, a blanket or a towel, and a yoga block if you have one. So our practice today, we're going to start down on our back. If you need a blanket or a towel underneath your head for more comfort, feel free to have that. Otherwise, make sure you have your strap close by and come down to your back on your mat. We'll start off in constructive rest pose. Our knees will be bent, feet will be on the mat. And as you're here settling down, gently rock your head from side to side, releasing tension through your neck. And then take a nice full inhale in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Bring your hands to your abdomen and breathing in and out of your nose, or you maybe you'll have one hand to your abdomen, one to your heart center. Just taking a moment to connect in with your breath. Let go of the busyness from today. Notice the quality of your breath as you're starting your practice. If your breath seems relaxed and smooth, or if it seems a little more shallow and short. Trying to reset if it seems shallow and short to a bit more of diaphragmatic breathing. So just notice that movement through your belly as you breathe. We'll take an inhale, lifting our arms all the way up and overhead, feeling the link through the back of our body, and exhale the arms down by your side. Knees are still bent, feet are still on the floor. Inhale, arms sweep out and around to the top and then exhale as you bring your arms back down this time right knee in towards your chest. Go ahead and rotate your right foot around in one direction three times and three times in the other direction. Holding on to the back of that right leg point and flex your foot a few times and then exhale and bring your knee back in towards your chest. Inhale foot lifts up, exhale knee comes in towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen your leg up, foot up towards the ceiling, straightening your leg, and then exhale, bring your knee back in towards your chest. Good, pause there. Inhale, bring your foot, right foot back to the mat, both arms up overhead, and as you exhale, left knee in towards your chest. Nice full breaths in and out of your nose. And then left foot rotates three times to the right, and three times to the left. Holding on to the back of the left thigh, inhale and bring your foot towards the ceiling, and exhale, bend your knee, bringing it in towards your chest. Inhale, straighten the leg, lifting your foot up, and exhale, bending that knee back in towards your chest. One more time like that, inhale, straightening the leg up. You might then Wiggle your left foot around or point it up towards the ceiling or even lift through your heel. And then exhale, left knee in towards your chest, right knee in to meet it. And then we'll move into a happy baby. Bring your knees really wide. Keep your knees bent and try to see if you can get your thighs more parallel to the floor. Soles of your feet are facing the ceiling and hold on to your calves, the bottoms of your feet, or the backs of your thighs, whatever you can grab a hold of. And then bringing your feet down, we'll cross our right leg over our left. Take an inhale here and bring that knee in towards your chest. And then setting your left foot back down on the mat, we'll move into figure four. So right ankle over left knee. And pause here for a moment with your left foot on the mat to just notice the levelness of your hips. Stay there or if it would feel good for you, bring your knees up in towards your chest, staying in figure four by reaching through 
and grabbing a hold of the back of your left leg. Long, smooth breaths in and out of your nose. And then exhale, bring your left foot back to the mat. Walk your feet a little wider on your mat and gently let your knees drop over to the left and then drop over to the right. Just exploring how that feels this morning on your back, on your body. Come back to center. And then we'll bring both knees in towards our chest on an exhale. This time your left leg crosses over your right. Hug and pull in your knees towards your torso. And then setting your right foot down on the mat, cross your left ankle over your right knee for figure four. Notice again if your hips feel fairly level here. See if you can level them out. And then either stay there or reach through and grab a hold of the back of the right leg, increasing the sensation possibly. Remember today not to move into a range of motion that doesn't feel good for your body. But if it's just a generalized tightness, that's okay. Focus on your exhale and your breath being smooth and even. Good. Exhale, bring both feet back down to the mat. Stretch your arms out wide to the sides like you were coming into a T figuration and then let your knees drop to the left and then drop over to the right. How far you go is really what is feeling best for yourself today. And then bring your knees back to center and grab your strap. We're coming into Supta Pada Gustasana, so we'll start on the right side. Strap is over the sole of your right foot. You could slide the strap back and forth, which is helping to warm up your fascia, loosen it up. Fascia is your connective tissue. The superficial fascia is right underneath your skin layer. And then allow your strap to be a little bit more towards the bottom end of the ball of your foot. If it's comfortable on your back, straighten out your left leg and keep that left foot flexed, toes pointing towards the ceiling. As you're here, breathing steady and smooth, can you stay with a bit of resistance pulling down on the strap as you push up? into the strap with the ball of your foot. Smooth breaths in and out of your nose and then we're going to switch the strap into the left hand. Let the right leg cross the midline of your body and come over to the left keeping link through the right side of your torso. To keep that link you'll just drop the right hip down towards the bottom of your mat and breathe. Remembering to only come over as far as is best for you. Bring your leg back up and release the strap, bringing that right leg down. Pause for a moment before you rush to the other side to just notice if one side feels any different than the other. And then we'll switch to the other side. Strap goes over the uh, sole of your left foot. Right leg can be bent if it's better for you or straight. And then slide the strap back and forth if you did that on the other side, kind of warming up, moving the fascia around across the sole of our foot. And then we'll pause and come into stillness for the pose. If your right leg is active, is straight, active, activate that leg, straighten it and push out through the heel and try to encourage the right thigh to move towards the floor. With your left leg, keep that leg engaged. Your kneecap is lifting up. You're gently pulling down on the strap as you're pushing up through the ball of your foot into the strap. One more breath there and then both straps come into your right hand and the leg crosses over the midline towards the right side of your body. Again, maintain length through the left side of your body by encouraging the left hip to move down towards the bottom of your mat. Breathe into the outside of that left leg. A nice full inhale. And as you exhale, bring the leg back up. We'll release the strap. 
and bring both knees in towards our chest. So gently rocking from side to side, gently massaging your sacrum and low back. Your knees might go in circles and then set your feet back down. We're going to roll over to our right side. You might want to have a prop underneath your head here. We're going to have our knees bent. So my knees are fairly close into my torso. My left arm, right arm is on the floor stretched out in front of me. Right arm is stacked on top. As I inhale, my left arm is going to come up and over to the other side of my body, coming into a gentle twist. Go nice and slow and see if you can synchronize your movement with your breath. As you inhale, your arm raises up and over. And as you exhale, bring your hands back towards each other. And then bring your left arm all the way up and over your head like you were drawing a half circle. This is quite a bit of rotation for our shoulder. So again, be mindful, especially if you have any shoulder issues going on. A full inhale brings the arm up and over the head like you were drawing a half circle. And then on your exhale, just bring that left hand right back to your right hand. The next time you open up, pause there. So your arms will be out in a T formation. If for some reason you can't get your left hand, left arm to the floor, make sure you're propping up underneath it and not allowing the arm to dangle in space. Try to relax through your left shoulder. And then exhale and bring the left hand back to the right hand. Pause for a moment. And then we'll just roll right over to the other side. I'm going to demonstrate on this side using the prop in case your arm doesn't get all the way to the floor. So rolling to the left side of your body. Again, a prop under your head might be helpful. Straighten out both arms out in front, and as you inhale, the right arm lifts all the way up and over, directly over to the right side. And then as you exhale, bring the right hand back to meet the left arm, keeping both arms straight here. Inhale, the arm lifts up and over bringing you into a gentle twist, and exhale, the arm comes back down. On your next time, let your right arm circle up and around over your head like you were drawing a half circle, and then come back straight across, back, bringing your right hand back to your left hand. Good. The next time we bring our arm all the way up and over, we'll pause there. Again, if your arm doesn't meet the floor, you're going to place it on a prop, a blanket, a block, or bend your right elbow, let your right hand rest on your waist. And just see if you can normally or, or comfortably relax that right shoulder. Full breath in, full breath out. And then we'll bring the right arm all the way back over. Pause there for a moment. From here, we're going to roll right over to our belly. If coming down to your belly is uncomfortable at all, you might try placing a blanket or a towel underneath your abdomen and hips. Sometimes that can help. Come right into crocodile pose. Stack one hand right on top of the other. Rest your forehead down. We'll take a moment here to notice our breath as we breathe in. It presses against your belly, presses against the floor, and exhale, it softens back. We're moving into cobra, so bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Let your elbows stay tucked in tight, pressing up against your torso. Lift each leg a little bit and lengthen it, and then pressing down through the tops of your feet. You might notice your kneecaps lifting up. Press down through your pubic bone and hips. Lift up through your navel and on your inhale, rise up from your head and chest. 
Try not to put a lot of weight in your hands. You can just uh, check and see if you are by briefly lifting your hands up off the floor. Let your shoulder blades move down your back towards your hips. Keep the back of your neck long by gazing down towards your mat. Breath is steady here, in and out, and when you need to, exhale and come all the way back down, coming back into crocodile pose. Resting your forehead back down on the backs of your hands. Nice full deep breath here. Let your breath settle back down if it got a little short or choppy. And then gently bend both knees, bring your feet up, and let your feet gently windshield wiper from side to side. We're going to bring our hands under our shoulders, push up and back to child's pose. So I'm going to be demonstrating a wide-legged child's pose. My knees are wide apart, my toes are together. This allows me to have a little bit longer spine here, as opposed to rounding my back. If coming into child's pose is uncomfortable for you at all, feel free to come into puppy pose where you bring your hips a little higher up. Your forehead is still resting down either on a block, your hands, or the mat. And if it's comfortable for your arms, stretch your arms out in front. Nice long spine here. Take a few breaths into your low back. And then we'll push up and get ready to come back to our back for bridge pose. I'm going to demonstrate today with a blanket underneath my torso. We use a blanket in bridge pose to help give our cervical spine, our neck, a little more room. Notice how my torso is on the blanket, my head is off the blanket and on the mat. I'm going to rock my head from side to side to release any tension through my neck before I get started. My feet are hip distance parallel and a little closer to my torso. When you're ready to come up into bridge pose, press down through your feet, lift your hips, bend at your elbows today and let your fingertips come towards the ceiling. Push down actively through your upper arms into your mat or blanket. Lifting, staying lifted through your hips. Really engage your legs by pushing your feet forward and shins forward and make sure you're breathing. Great pose for lengthening the front side of our body. Super helpful for strengthening the back side. And then as you exhale, come all the way down. Full inhale in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. I'm just going to adjust my body to have a better view for our next pose, Jatara Parivartanasana. You can stay right where you are. So we're in constructive rest pose. Our knees are bent, our feet are on the mat. This is going to be a supine twist. We're going to bring our arms out to a T. Press down through your feet, hip, lift your hips and shift them to the left, set them back down. Your body feels crooked. Straighten out your right leg. Inhale and bring your left knee in towards your chest and as you exhale, let the left knee cross over to the right. So you get to decide how far over that right knee, left knee is coming. If there is space and you have a prop, a blanket or a block, you could block, uh, you could support in the negative space, that gap area, with a prop or you can just allow that left leg to cross over and you can hold it with your right hand. Notice if your breath is settling down here and again only move in the twist if it's comfortable for you. Nice deep breath in and out of your nose as we're coming and slowing down our practice here. We'll take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring that left leg back up. Both feet on the mat, straighten out your body, pause there for a moment. Allow your back to settle and readjust, and then lift your hips, shift them to the right, and set them back down. 
Straighten out your left leg this time. Bring your right knee in towards your chest, and as you exhale, let that right knee cross over to the left side of your body. So we do that gentle hip shift before we come into the twist because it helps to keep your spine long when you come into the twist as opposed to having the spine in a curved position. Full inhale, full exhale. Not only breathing into your spine, but into the outer edges of the right hip. When we sit a lot, our piriformis muscle, which is along the outside of that hip, tends to get a little tight sometimes. It's going to be a nice way to stretch it out. So notice right now any sensations you feel in your body. We'll stay for one more nice full inhale in through your nose. And then as you exhale, you're going to release the right knee and bring it back to center. Place both feet on the mat and straighten out your body. Go ahead and straighten out both legs on the mat. If this doesn't feel good on your back, you can keep your knees bent. Inhale and bring your arms all the way up and overhead. We're coming into a supine crescent shape. So we'll walk our feet over towards the right corner of our mat and our hands over towards the right corner of our mat. Full inhale into the left lung, left rib cage. If you want a bit more stretch, cross your left leg at the ankle over, so left ankle over right ankle. You're just barely crossing that left leg over. Keep your hips down on the mat. Take an inhale here as you exhale. Come back to center, uncrossing your legs, bringing your arms down by your side. Inhale, arms all the way up and overhead. As you exhale, feet walk to the left corner of your mat, arms to the left corner of your mat. Taking a full breath into the right lung, right rib cage. And again, if you want a slight bit more, through the lateral stretch, you're going to cross your right ankle over your left. You might even hold on to your right wrist and gently lift up. Really finding the length all the way down the right side of your body. And then come back to center and hug both knees in towards your chest. Again, it might feel good to rock a little from side to side. From here, we're going to set ourselves up for Shavasana. Today, I'm going to demonstrate using an eye pillow and one blanket. So whatever means you need to make yourself comfortable in Shavasana, please feel free to do so. I find sometimes that I can relax a little easier if I am covered. So I am going to use a blanket to cover my torso. You might have a blanket or, or a towel under your head. You might also have a blanket over your abdomen if you don't want to be fully covered. An eye pillow is a nice way to calm the nervous system. It just has a slight bit of weight. You could use a hand towel as well and place that over the eyes. Once you come down to whatever is your resting position for Shavasana, Take a nice full deep inhale in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. And then breathing in and out of your nose. Try to see if you can let go of all control and allow your breath to be its natural cadence. Bring your awareness down into your feet. Allow your heels to be heavy. Soften your calves, the backs of your knees, and your thighs. Allow your hips to be heavy. 
soften through your low back, mid back, and upper back. Relax your right shoulder, right elbow, and right wrist. Right elbow and right shoulder. Your whole right arm is heavy. Relax through your left shoulder, left elbow, and left wrist. Left elbow, left shoulder, left arm is heavy. Soften your throat. Relax your jaw. Let the skin of your cheeks and forehead soften. Let your eyes gently rest down in their sockets and let go of all efforting. Take a fuller, deeper breath and exhale out your mouth. Bring your hands to your heart center for a moment and take a moment to find something you are grateful for. Bring that gratitude to mind and let it permeate into your heart. As you inhale, let the gratitude fill your body and fill up into your brain. And as you exhale, sharing that gratitude out into the world. And then in your own way, we'll bring our knees up and towards our chest and pause there for a moment. My quote today is from Jack Kornfield, who reminds us that we must look at ourselves over and over again in order to learn to love, to discover what has kept our hearts closed and what it means to allow our hearts to open. So when you're ready, push up to a seated position. It's been my honor today to lead you through your practice, bringing your hands into Namaste at your heart center. The light in me recognizes the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.